Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a winter 10x10 capsule wardrobe. You may have seen my previous one which was a summer 10x10 in collaboration with Portrait Eyewear and I got so many requests from you guys to do a winter version especially considering that I live in Sydney and it is winter here right now. So I've got my 10 items here. The bag is separate. I'm going to run through all of these items and actually I thought I would just flag for those of you who are in the southern hemisphere like me. I'm actually currently doing a 30 day capsule wardrobe so this particular outfit I'm wearing is part of that and I'm going to be documenting all of my outfits over on my blog and also on my Instagram so I will link the post where I share all the items that I selected and you can just go check out my blog daily if you want to see what I have been wearing as part of that capsule. So let's dive right into it and run through all of the tops and I've got one top and then three knitted sweaters. So the top that I decided to include is this stripy number from Grana. I've had this for a few years now and it's from the men's section. I have it in the white and blue version as well. I just love a good break and stripe top and this one is great because it's got a really boxy fit and I find if you're looking for something that has the perfect boxy oversized fit the men's section is always the best place to go. I get mine in a size small usually. This one I've got in an extra small just because then it's kind of that nice relaxed fit. It doesn't look like it's too big for me and I've just stolen something out of my dad's wardrobe kind of thing. <laughs> the next item I want to talk about is a sweater and you will be so familiar with this if you're a long time watcher of my channel. It is my Joseph oversized turtleneck sweater. I wanted to include this because it's something that I gravitate towards a lot during the winter months, has a nice roll neck so I don't necessarily need to wear a scarf if I have something like this on and I think the rib detail on it is just a really nice subtle touch, makes it look a little bit more interesting. It is very much the definition of a basic with a twist. The second knit that I'm including is a cardigan and this one is from And Other Stories. You will have seen me talking about this quite a bit I'm sure because I've been reaching for it a lot. It's 100% wool. I don't find it itchy at all. It washes well and it has that nice relaxed fit. Again, I feel like winter, especially because so many of us are working from home, wearing something that is cozy but still looks chic is kind of the ultimate way to go and that's definitely my vibe with this whole 10 by 10 uh, So yeah, it's just got the nice button front detail here with these huge oversized buttons and the ribbing. Uh, this comes in a few other colours as well and if you have been eyeing this up and thinking about buying it, I 100% cannot recommend it enough. I've been eyeing up the white version but honestly I really don't need any more knitwear. I think you guys can probably agree. <laughs> then the final sweater that I decided to include is a cashmere one. This one is from Nardem and it's in almost like a brown toned burgundy colour. This is the unisex luxe cashmere sweater so it was quite expensive. I think I got it during one of their sales actually because full price I just thought it was a little bit of a big hit to the bank balance if you know what I mean. The Cashmere on this is very, very thick. It is really nice and soft as well, very fluffy. Not as soft as their $75 cashmere, which I believe they've discontinued, and I'm very certain they're discontinuing this particular sweater as well, which is a shame. But based on my experience with the two cashmere knits that I own from the brand, I would recommend them as an option if you're looking for a really nice, high quality sweater that is going to last you years. I bought this last year. Um, in the winter and I've worn it a lot. <laughs> Again it's that really nice big oversized fit. Um, I will say, and actually this goes for the And Other Stories cardigan as well, that I have to use a cashmere comb on this every couple of wears because it does suffer from a bit of pilling. That said, I believe it's still A-grade cashmere, so please do keep in mind if you're buying cashmere that pilling is not a sign of poor quality. It's just one of the side effects of wearing a natural fibre like this. Then let's move on to the bottoms that I've picked and I've gone for two. I went with a pair of jeans and a pair of trousers. The jeans that I picked out are these Madewell ones. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny crop jean. I'm not sure if this particular wash is still available but I personally really love it and think it's the kind that transitions well from the colder months to the warmer months. Um, I will say that I don't find this to be a particularly skinny leg so there's a little bit of room around the ankle which I actually kind of like. I like the fact that it's a cropped style because on me it means it's the perfect length because I do have that shorter length inseam and these wash really well. Size wise I've got these in a 25 and I will say they run big. That's just my experience having tried Madewell denim before. So if you are planning on buying any denim from Madewell without trying it on, do size down one. 
Uh, but yeah, just a really nice, thick, sturdy, comfortable pair of jeans. The trousers are from Forecast, and I'm wearing the black version of them. I bought these last year, 18 months ago, maybe. I've had these for quite a while, and they're kind of my go-to black trouser. These are sort of the updated version, and they're actually uh, an item that was gifted to me as part of a partnership that I'm doing with them on Instagram. I love these. I love the check print on them. They're black with a charcoal check all over, which is a really nice subtle detail. And I thought a great way to add a little bit of visual interest into this 10x10. And they've got the side zip closure. And they're otherwise just a really simple trouser, slightly tapered fit, and they cut off just above the ankle on me. Then I went with a cashmere dress, and the reason why I picked this over other styles was I figured I could wear this like a sweater, and I could also wear it with a cardigan over the top as well, so I thought I would have a few different outfit opportunities or styling options with this particular piece. It's just a light grey oversized cashmere dress with a really long roll neck so you're going to be nice and toasty around the collar there. Um, there are tons of brands that do things like this. My recommendation would be to size up one or two sizes just to make sure that it's not too short and also so you've got loads of room so it's just nice and comfy and cozy because I feel like that's kind of the purpose when you're wearing a dress or a piece like that. Then the final item of clothing that I've included is a coat and it is my Eero wool pea coat. This was a purchase that I made pre-loved at the start of 2019 and I've just really, really enjoyed wearing this. It's quite structured and um, looks really great when it's buttoned up actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's got a really sort of stiff and sharp silhouette, which I really love. And the quality of it is exceptional as well. I found it hasn't peeled up at all or anything, and I have worn it loads. It's really heavy and thick too, so perfect for those colder climates. Then from an accessories standpoint, the final two items that I picked were two pairs of shoes, because as I said, I'm not including my bag as one of the 10 items. So the first pair of shoes I went for are my Vanelli two-tone pumps. These are the charcoal gray version, and I have actually purchased these in the black finally, because I figured they would be a great alternative for the winter, because I believe this particular colorway has just continued, and I really want to make these last as long as possible. You will know how much I adore these shoes. I wear them at least once a week. They're just such a classic style, obviously a dupe for the Chanel two-tone pumps, which there are a few other brands which have alternatives, so I'm going to link those in the description box below in case you want to seek out some other options which might be more readily available to you depending on where you live. I am going to get the question, how can I wear these and bare my ankles? I live in Sydney, so the coldest our winters get is around 14 degrees Celsius, so really, really mild. Most days it's around the 18 degree mark and we have many, many winter days that are around 22 degrees. So I can usually get away with something like this. Then the final pair of shoes that I included are some boots. These ones are from Midas. Again, these ones were gifted to me. I picked them out. I adore these. I love a good Chelsea boot. They were such a huge part of my style uniform, especially when I lived in Wellington and when I first moved to Sydney. And unfortunately, those boots that I had, they were from Mi Piace. They just got completely worn into the ground. I had them resold so many times and eventually got to the point where I could no longer get them repaired. They were just an absolute state. So these are sort of my replacement for them. They, instead of the rounded toe like the previous ones I had, these have more of an almond pointed toe, which I really like. It's quite sort of a sharp detail. I find that this is really leg lengthening. These are really comfortable despite their high heel. And I like the fact that they've got the zip up closure at the back as well. It's really just keeps you nice and snug in them. And then the bag that I wanted to include is my black leather Kuyana tote bag. I've actually been wearing this a lot recently just because it's such an easy option and a really good alternative to my Neverfull. I mean, I didn't really need to buy that considering that I have this and this has the same function from a baby bag perspective, but the quality of this is amazing and I have talked about this in my best tote bag video, which I'm going to link up in the cards somewhere so that you can go and have a watch if you are on the hunt for a good tote bag because I go into a lot of depth or a lot of detail on this particular bag, but I figure a big tote, something that you can fit a nice woolly scarf in is perfect. So those are the 10 items that I've included as part of this 10 by 10. Now let's go on to the outfits.
have it. That was my winter 10x10 capsule wardrobe. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got some outfit ideas from it. Please let me know your favorite outfit in the comments section below and I'll see you next week with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.